It was a big shock for everyone because obviously like I'm fit and healthy and you wouldn't expect something like that, but just shows that it can happen to anyone. Dylan is just 18 years old. Last year, his heart stopped while he was playing football. He collapsed and was unresponsive before he was given life-saving CPR by one of the coaching staff. I remember taking the minibus there. I remember getting changed. I remember going on the pitch and then literally it's like a blank from there. I can't remember anything apart from getting on the pitch. Around 60,000 people suffer a cardiac arrest in England every year. The chance of survival falls by as much as 10% with every minute that blood isn't pumping around the body. Dylan, along with his classmates from Tyne Metropolitan College, are learning the technique. It's a lot harder than it actually looks. Yeah, it's a useful thing to learn. Do you think you'd feel confident now to do this in a real life situation? Uh, yeah. More confident than I did before, yeah. Over the course of the next two weeks, the North East Ambulance Service hopes to train over 6,000 people as part of its annual Restart a Heart campaign, which is now in its sixth year. We tell them about how to check for somebody's response, so are they awake, are they actually unconscious, do they need an ambulance? We go through how to open their airway, check if they're breathing normally, what to do if they are breathing normally, but also what to do if they're not breathing normally, about calling for the 999, making sure they start compressions. We also go through with students. If we've got a defibrillator, we like to show them how simple they are to use. People are so surprised how easy, but they are the key to getting somebody's heart back into a normal rhythm as soon as possible. There is now more emphasis on getting people trained from a very young age in CPR. We've also done a massive push to get more defibrillators into communities, not just rural communities, any community.